Kai, first of all, tell me, where are you uh, talking to us from? Where are you right now in the world? I'm calling from a small fishing village on the coast of Norway, on the islands of Lofoten, called Eggum. I'm sorry, it's called Flufluten? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, you say no, it's Lufluten. Luf oh, I'm sorry. How foolish of me. Lufluten. Lufluten. Luf <laughs> Your name is Kai, and you're coming from Lufluten, Norway. Yes? Lufluten. Lufluten. Luf 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 Let him say it one more time. Say it again. Lufluten. Lufluten. I think you're getting it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're coming along, Kai. That was Kai. nice. <laughs> Kai, tell me a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Tell us about Kai. Uh, I am just the run of the old male fish farmer from Norway. I uh, <laughs> I used to be a fisherman. Uh, I don't know if you've seen like the uh, Discovery Channel's TV show Deadliest Catch. Mm. Yes. So you yeah, used to I be used, a, to... used to be a fisherman. You used to take fish from the sea, but now you're a fish farmer, which means yeah. that you are planting fish in the ground. In the ground. Yeah, fish seeds. In the ground. How does it work? Like it's. It's funny because like the fishermen don't really like the fish farmers that much because they think it's cheating. Uh -huh. But I just say to the fishermen, which I used to be myself, that why do you want to go out into the ocean and spend a lot of time searching for fish when you can just plant them there, feed them and sell them when they get big? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And so how does that go over with the fishermen? Yeah, no, they're angry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I would think they're pretty angry when you say that. Uh, you're fish farming, but you, that still means you get in a boat, yes? You get in a boat and you go yeah. out, and do you have an area where you where you raise these fish? Yeah, we have, like, uh, these installations on the ocean called a, a fish cage. And, uh, like, where I work, we have 10 of them, and there's about 500,000 salmon in these cages. And we go out on our catamaran every day, and we, like make sure it gets fed, we make sure like the temperatures or like the environment is right around them and stuff like that, yeah. Uh, what do you feed the salmon? Yeah, it's uh, it's something called pellets. It's like this, it's something like they have figured out uh, the kind of uh, of, uh, of food that it gets to like make them grow the most I from see. what they eat. Right, so yeah. it's, is it filled with lots of chemicals and stuff uh, that will help pump <laughs> no, up no the chemicals. fish? No, no chemicals. Like me, it's all natural. Okay. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I don't know yeah. about you, Kai, but I rely on many chemicals <laughs> to enhance things, if you know what I mean. Oh. And you will. Uh, Kai. You will? What? Kai, Why? please, settle down, gang. Kai, um, do fish, would, if you fed salmon hamburger, would they eat it? Of course, who wouldn't? <laughs> Good answer. I'm just curious. Like, Part of me thinks, wouldn't it be funny to feed salmon hamburger and then feed that to a pescatarian. And then when they're done, go, ha ha, Jeez. you just ate a lot of hamburger, fuck you. Wouldn't that be a fun prank? Yeah, that would be, uh, yeah, that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm well, writing it down as we speak. In an increasingly competitive job market, it's important to make sure your brand stands out from the crowd. That is important, Sona. Yeah. That's Whether you're right. Selling say. vegan cupcakes from your kitchen mm -hmm. or marketing your wedding photography business. I'm just making these up. Yeah, I can tell. Squarespace <laughs> helps you create a modern platform through an engaging and aesthetically pleasing online presence. That's important. If things look nice, people will buy. With member areas, hmm. You can unlock a new <laughs> revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Mmm, newsletters. Yeah. <laughs> Stand out in any inbox with email for Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Social. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. <laughs> Analytics, you want to hear more? I'll give you some. Use insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Good heavens and Lord above. Head to squarespace.com slash Conan for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use offer code Conan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Do you like your job? Do you like going out on the sea and, and working with these fish? Is, is that, what kind of life is that? And do you enjoy it? It's, 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 it's amazing. It's, I, I think when I picture my life, I think if I get to stay within this field of work, I'm going to die a happy man because it's, it's such a, a free type of job. You know, we're, uh, we're just two, like we're colleagues, but basically we're really good friends going out on the boat, doing our thing, 
we don't really have like supervisors hanging over us we it's like the ocean breeze it's the weather it's everything around that and like at the end of the day when we when we come in we can put a good honest day's work behind us you yeah. know it's interesting you say that because it sounds like you're a real man's man I'm, it, I am a real man. Yeah. Look at me. No, no, yeah. I, no. But I'm saying, yeah. without without kidding around, you, this is you're going out on the sea to to make your way to make your living. There's high winds. It's very dramatic off Norway, and you're a real man doing this uh, work. Yeah, that's, it's like an honest day's labor. I'm kind of envious. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. You're, well, I, I'm not envious because. Kai, what I do is very similar. No, oh. no. Uh -uh. I come out here. I don't know if the if the temperature in the podcast booth is going to be seventy one or seventy two. I don't know if my if the iced tea they got me is going to be completely unsweetened or have a little bit of sugar. So oh. I too am battling the elements no. in my own way. Absolutely, I'm so happy that I'm up here in the in the Arctic and not down there it's i'm, I'm so glad for that. <laughs> you're what you just said so so kai you're just very happy that you're that you're you and not me is that what you're saying yeah that, that, yeah that, yeah that's sort of what i'm saying i i can't imagine <laughs> being able to bear those problems no um well you you mentioned that you go out in the sea with someone else who is this is this a brother is it a friend who do you go out who's your colleague well it's uh i would rather say that he's a colleague uh, or like he's a buddy more than a colleague because we're such good friends. And his name is like in Norwegian, his name is pronounced God Seaman. And uh, I was very really nervous say about saying that. God Seaman. God his name, Seaman. His name is Guard Seaman. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. It's it's Guard Seaman, and it's the perfect name for a guy who works in the ocean. <laughs> no, it's not. Actually. <laughs> That would be Jack Fish <laughs> or Billy Wave. It's the guard. perfect name for someone who wants to have a prison guard for a child. Yeah. I mean, guard seaman is not, I don't think of as the perfect ocean going name. Does he tell people his name is guard seaman? Not if they're English, no. Yeah, yeah he should switch it to Gus Jizz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just saying, if you tell him if he comes to like the United States, Make sure he says Gus Jizz. You don't want people getting the wrong idea, okay? <laughs> I'll be sure to tell him that tomorrow when he basically kicks my ass, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so your friend, Guard Seaman, uh, a.k.a. Gus Jizz, uh, he goes out on the boat with you every day. I would think two guys out on a relatively small boat on a vast ocean together, eh, do you guys ever, do you get along? I mean, cause that would wear on me for a while. And I, I love, oh, wait a minute. I'm not just seeing who's in the booth with Aww. me. Yeah. Well, no, what I'm saying is I do like you guys. Oh, I like, I'm I like- not getting on a boat with you. I like Matt Gorley and I and I like Sonoma Sessian, but if we were on a small boat together every Oof. day, no, we, we, we'd last maybe half an hour. No. How do you guys get along? Well, the thing is that to keep it fresh, we have installed this, this fun game we do when we're out in the ocean. We put on this like, local radio channel which is called radio retro so it plays like hits from the 60s to the 90s and we have it on full volume so when we're out working whenever there's a song comes on the first one to guess like the band's name or, or the like title of the song gets a point and that's like the way we like to keep it fresh so it's a competition <laughs> all throughout the day but you do that every day every day every it's day. two of you bobbing in the water and then one of you shouts out, it's the Archies, sugar, sugar. And you high five each other? Uh, that's that's what's keeping <laughs> yeah. this together? Yeah. <laughs> when you say it like that, you know, uh, yeah. Well, don't what do you make mean? Him, don't make him question yeah, this, it's all he's got. No, what do you mean when I say it like that? Uh, Kai, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that. Well, and you guess the song and then you have to listen to the whole song. Yeah. yeah. That was Thin Lizzy. That's the best part. Thin Lizzy, boys are back in town. You got another one, Jizz. Uh, 